everyone, how are you guys doing? I hope you guys are having a sunny day or a starry night. So today is Halloween. I understand that Halloween can be sort of controversial. However, I did want to make a video just having fun and enjoying costumes and candy. So I'm just organizing a class party with my third graders since I am a third grade teacher if you have not seen my past video. Anyways, before we get into the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to join the star fam. Now let's get into the video. So currently, I am just putting out some Halloween snacks, some chips, and candy. So I have these spooky Ecto-2 chips. So I'm just going to pour some in a bowl. Perfect. Now I'm going to get some cheesy bobs and put it in this bowl. And now I have some eyeball candies, so I'm going to put it in the last bowl here. There we go. Now that I've put out all the decorations and snacks, I'm just going to quickly grade my students' tests from last Friday. I did come to school a little bit early to get everything set up, so I do have some extra time before the kids arrive. Now that I have graded all their papers, they did pretty well in this test considering it was their first test of the year. So I'm going to hand these out along with the pumpkin coloring sheet so they can work on that in the morning when they first come in. So I'll go do that now. Happy Halloween Mrs. Star! Good morning Emily and Jacob! Oh my god, your costumes look great! A mouse and a pineapple? These are so creative, you guys! Great job! Definitely an A-plus on the costumes. Thank you, Mrs. Star. We're gonna put our backpacks away now. What's up, Mrs. Star? Good morning. I'm an astronaut for Halloween. And I'm a superhero. Oh my goodness, you guys definitely went all out. I absolutely love your guys' costumes. Now why don't you guys put your backpacks away? Okay, Mrs. Star. Hey, Mrs. Star. Good morning. I'm a mermaid for Halloween. I had to borrow my sister's costume from last year. Wow, Stephanie, I love it. The sequins look so pretty. And I love your hairdo as well. 10 out of 10. Thank you, Miss Star. Ah, oh my goodness. Ah, sorry, Miss Star. I was late. I almost missed the bus. Don't worry, Anita. You're just in time. The bell hasn't even rang yet. Oh, that's good. My tiara kept falling off and I had to fix it before going on the bus. That does sound pretty tricky, but it did work out in the end and you look like a beautiful princess. Thanks, Miss Star. I'm excited to go trick-or-cheating and get candy. Yeah, me too. So, I got an A plus on my test. What did you get? I got an A plus too. We should work on this pumpkin sheet together. Yeah, I'm excited to color this. I don't know if I want to make it basic or if I want to make it look like a rainbow. That would be pretty cool, but... I think we should just stick to the basic colors. Okay, I'll draw the orange on the pumpkin and you can do the stem. Okay, I have to get in the lines. I'm doing pretty good. Okay, I have the green crayon and I'm doing the stem. Perfect! Alright kids, now that we're all done our sheets and our tests, now we can have some fun. So we are all in our brilliant costumes and they look amazing. So as you can tell, we are having a class party. And I brought a bunch of snacks. So of course you can take a plate and take any kind of food you'd like. And of course we have some juice as well. But as always, there are some rules. So first of all, we do need to share. So don't hog one type of thing. Make sure that there's enough for everybody. Second, try not to make too much of a mess because it will be a lot of clean in the end. And third, have fun! Wow, it smells so good. Look at those chips! 
Okay, so once you have a plate full of food and a cup full of punch, you can go sit down and we can all watch a movie. Now that the movie's over, I thought we could do a little bit of a learning. But of course, to spice up the reading, I'm going to be reading a scary story. Except it's actually sort of a nursery rhyme. So you guys can finish your snacks while I read the story. Um, Mrs. Star, is it a scary story? Well, it's a Halloween story, but it isn't actually scary at all. Actually, you've probably heard of this author before. If anyone is familiar with Dr. Seuss, raise your hand. Oh, I know him. I read one of his books at the library. Me too. Then you guys would probably like this story. Okay, so this story is Horton Hears a Boo by Dr. Seuss. In the jungle of Newell, near the Glowbug Lagoon, in the hush of the night, neath the October moon, he was counting the stars, there was more than a few, when Horton the elephant heard a strange boo! If you listen to folks all the way to the end, you might meet a who who becomes a new friend. The end! Alright class, we'll see you at lunch! Go enjoy gym class, okay? Okay, I have less than an hour to clean most of this mess. And then the pizza should arrive soon. And then I can put on some songs and we can all have a dance party. So I have to finish this up pretty quick. Fortunately, I did get to clean the classroom and now the kids are back from gym. And the pizza should arrive any second now. Actually, I wonder when it's coming. Did anyone order a pizza over here? Look, it's Mr. Star! Uh, Mr. Star? Who's that? Uh, I'm a vampire. See? I want to suck your blood! I don't know what you guys are talking about, but I'm just a vampire bringing you guys pizza. I've never heard of a Mr. Star in my life. <laughs> it's okay, Alex. Guys, you probably know that this is my husband, and he is on the parent and teacher committee, so he does help with fundraisers and helping out, or in this case, delivering our pizza. Anyways, I'm just gonna put these pizzas over here, and I'm gonna get going. At the start of summer, Mrs. Star was showing us her vacation, and it showed the picture where you fell into one of the submarine tanks. Yeah, it was so funny. What? Out of all photos? I swear, I was just trying to feed the fish. I'm gonna go. Well, this is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to join the Star Fam. Also, if you celebrate Halloween, make sure to stay safe, check your candy, but also make sure to have fun. Anyways, love you guys. Happy Halloween.